I'm going to take a pretty aggressive cut because I have to remove a lot of material. Let's just see how much will it. Oh yeah. That's pretty decent. That's pretty decent depth right there. If it cuts good, no chatter, good uh, surface finish, you know, just go with it. I mean, you can do your calculations. I know that I need it quite a bit more. So, now, if I was close to the measurement, I would not be doing this. But I do know that I have to take off a lot of material so I can, uh, I can make some roughing cuts out here on the get-go. But I am going to check it now. Let's just see, see what we got. Oh, that's 789. You know what? We ought to switch over yonder to the uh, something a little more precise than that. Uh, so let's get in yonder with the. Uh, Uh, 792. These machines do take off uh, half on one side and half on the other side. So let's take off. I did not set this on zero, so let's. Uh, that's. Um, let's just get us up here to zero and go with that right there and get us a new measure. Less than forty two thousand. Real nice surface finish there, so that was a good choice on that bit. Now let's see what we got here. This is getting down there where we need to be paying attention. We've got seven hundred and sixty six thousandths. We need 750. The, the reading on this dial right here is um, if you turn it, if you turn it one thousandths here, it removes two thousandths off of the material. It, it cuts a thousandths as, as it, on this side, and then when that rotates around there, it takes another thousandths. So where we at right now, doing the calculations and and the figuring and everything right there, that's uh, so 750. I, I need I need to remove 16 thousandths to get us down to 750. Okay, I want it to be oversized about two thousandths. So I'm only going to remove 14 thousandths. So, down here, I need to move this seven thousandths. So, that right there would be five, six, seven. Okay, let's make the cut now. Let's put us a little, little, little lube on there. This should be the finished cut with a thousandths or two oversize. And our surface finish is a mirror finish. Now let's put the mic on it and see what we got. Let's see what we got here. Uh, seven hundred and fifty-four thousandths. Let's go with that. That's four thousandths oversized. That'll be good. Uh, okay, now let's um, let's drill us a hole in there. We can go all the way through.
three eighths drill bit. Little lube on there. And I don't think I need to center drill this. I think we'd be all right without a center drill because it does need to be oversized. Pretty nice, uh, pretty nice, uh, swarf coming out of there, pretty nice. Okay. Let's put us a little lube up in there. Make make things easy if you can. And we need to shorten up on our quill right here. Uh, always keep a short quill on your... Uh, tail stock. And I do have ample clearance. Yeah, when I break through, I do have ample clearance. And I did, I did select, I selected a drill bit that was kinda on the dull side, as so that the thinking was I did not want it to dig into the material. It's cutting quite well, though I will, uh, if you was here on site, you would be impressed with that shaving that's coming out. Okay, we broke through. We got us a hole in yonder all the way through. Now... The, the next step is to enlarge, the next step will be to enlarge this hole in here to a depth of one half inch, five hundred thousandths, and the wall thickness on the outer edge right here will be sixty thousandths. So let's put us a... Uh, uh, let's, this little, this little bit right here, that's, that's been one of those go-to bits to get that job done. Let's put that in there and, uh, see what we can do with it.